Hello. Come in, come in. Thanks. You must be Michael. Yeah. You know, I used to have three secretaries. Now I have to make my own coffee and give myself a happy ending. <laughs> See, the ships are coming in. But the walls will hold us. Nelson in Naples. Pluto? I said Mars, you cocksucker. <laughs> Shoulder of Orion. Two. Devin Weston said you were a fan. Huge fan. Tell me, Michael. Devin Weston, did he... Does he want you to bump me off? No, not at all. He said you were retiring but might need some help on a movie. Only assholes retire, Michael. Him and my son, they want to put me out to pasture so they can turn this place into condos or a theme park or something. But this place is a dream factory. Well, maybe they have different dreams. Some days, I don't blame them. You know, they always say, never work with children or animals. Well, I want to add to that list. Never work with directors or actors. This picture is going to kill me. All right. So what's it about? It's perfect. Set in Liberty City. Meltdown. <laughs> it's all being shot on green screen right out back there. We take a look at the financial crisis, and then we boil it all down into a really simplistic battle between two yuppies with lots of training montages. So what's the problem? Milton McElroy. I cast him in the second lead because he's cheap. Zero talent, incidentally. Well, he's got this new agent, Rocco Pelosi. He's been hassling us about renegotiating the deal. So now, He's holding up shooting until he gets paid. That sounds problematic. It would be if the director wanted to shoot. Anton Baudelaire. Ever heard of him? That doesn't surprise me. Now he's having a mental breakdown, pissing all over himself who knows where. <sighs> all right. Looks like you got yourself that new assistant. But no happy endings. <laughs> I love you already. <laughs> Hey, Solomon, I'm just doing that thing. Good, good. Now, I realized in my excitement, I forgot some details. Yeah, it seemed obvious. You want this Pelosi guy clipped. No, God, no. Is that an option? No, no, no. Bad idea, bad idea. No clipping anyone. Just teach him some manners. He's also in my director's ear as well, if you'd believe it. So teach this punk a lesson and bring the talent back to set, ideally in a more collaborative mood. I'll see what I can do. They all gonna be at the club? I'm told it isn't a club so much as a rat pit. Anton and Milton are supposed to be there, and Pelosi's on the way to pick them up. He's taking them to his lawyer to sign the contracts, so if he hears there's someone from the studio coming, he'll get him out fast. All right, I'll go in quiet. I'll see you on the set, boss. The strong survive. You not only improve yourself, but feel doubly better because... inside. Gianni, we nearly got the club. We're finally a go. And you take care of these guys. No cold feet. Okay? Let's go.
you are. Mr. Richards has been worried sick. Club ain't open, Snowbird. Who's this jackass? Hey, you! Oh, turns out these guys are in love with their contract. So they'll be going back to the set with me. Can you believe this fucking clown? No! This guy's all mine! <laughs> Toss you off this roof. All right, yeah. Okay, sure, man, sure. All right. Let's get back to the lot. Just ho hold on. Look, you can bully him, but you can't bully Talon, buddy. We are not shooting until I get a new deal. Can't bully Talon? Just watch me. You're gonna be a good boy when I'm done. I don't know who you think you are! Just jumped up to studio security? I ain't security! I'm Solomon's assistant! I'm an artist! We'll drop! We'll drop! Hey! Hey! Whoa! Come on! Enough! Enough! Alright, I'll do the shitty movie! <laughs> Money. I'll do anything you want. I'll blow you. And just stop! Finally! You come to your senses! I'll take you to the studio. Hey, Milton! What? I think you owe an apology to Mr. Richards. Would I be in pain? No, you should apologize to me. A brutal honesty, bud. You're not that good. It feels phoned in. You're lucky you're working at all. <laughs> you're kidding me, right? I am an artist, dude. I'm your apologizing. When you see Solomon, you say, Sorry for the misunderstanding, sir. And you will always, always appreciate the opportunity he's given you. Now, where am I putting this thing down? I know Solomon is anxious to see you. Look, I'm feeling a little geeked up. How about I call my guy, go on a little jolly, and call Solomon from wherever I wake up in, in a week? <laughs> what a wonderful surprise! Anton, my boy! You're an artist, I know that! And this story is the best kind of art. A simplistic, cliche-ridden pile of dross that you will turn into magic. Get a grip. I love ya. So, Solomon, Milton here has a little something he wants to say to you. Say it. Uh, I, I just, just want to say that I'm sorry for any misunderstanding, sir. And I, I appreciate all the opportunities that, that, that you've given me. Of course, of course. Michael, what can I say? You're a natural. I love you. Well, you're too kind. No, no, I mean it. I don't mean to presume. But would it be okay if I gave you a shout? This shoot seems cursed for some reason or another. I need an associate producer. I'd love that. We'll talk soon. I gotta go. Oh, hell yeah. recognition shit already? Well, figure it out. Okay, booting up. You can use the stick to move the camera. Zoom in and out. It'll pick up pedestrians carrying the 2012 SA State License. If you target them, the scanner accesses the database and pulls their record. Hey, let's see if we can scan my buddy.
the exposure. What's the deal, Franklin? Man, fuck that. I got a high ass, homie. One time I'll pick a brother up for any old shit. You want me to take it out on the LSPD representative sitting beside me? Man, just get the Howard. Do we looking for us down that way? I'll follow the car. Howard! You heard the man. Wherever you want to go. Come in, Franklin. Suspect not in the area. I repeat, suspect not found in the area. All right, all right. He might be a couple blocks east of him. Roger that. Would you look at that couple? Finally, some normal, adjusted, healthy people in this horrible town. It's a brothel. You can't be thinking about any of them but me. I would never. Not our guy! Come in, Franklin. We've got a positive ID on the suspect. I repeat, we have visual on Chad Mulligan. No vehicle in sight. All right, look, cool. We're looking for his lockup, dog, all right? Stay on and look out. Roger that. Slow and steady. This camera's giving me a little air sickness. I get 
pirate when I'm queasy. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'll keep her steady. All garage exit clear. Suspect is in the building. I can't see him! Need some help here, flyboy. Where is he? Uh, you can toggle to thermal vision if you think that would help. Oh. Well, you might have just earned yourself a reprieve. You know, I think I'm developing feelings for you. Okay. I'm seeing things a little more clearly. Hey, can y'all still see me? I'm in the middle of the garage, man, right here. I've got you. Hey, you reading other heat signatures on this level? We got a guy standing over by a row of cars, middle of the floor. Let's see what the fuck he's doing. Hey, that ain't... Damn. You're the reason this place is stink. Stank-ass motherfucker. Man in his car to my right. Who looks like he's on the phone? Fuck, dude could be calling the feds, homie. Hey, it's not him, dog. I hope this motherfucker in here. Near side of the garage, on my left, there's a man in a car. This better be him. This better be the guy. Hey, that's the motherfucker. Thank you, Trevor Phillips. I know you think this car might be worth something, but it ain't. Suspect down! Fine work, ground unit. Mr. Clinton. Hey, Molly, right? I got that car for y'all. The Z-Type? Mr. Weston will be glad you caught us. He wanted to see it before we took off. We're on the way to his personal hangar at Los Santos International. I'll tell them to expect you at the gate. All right. Hey, I'm supposed to meet Devin Weston here. Mr. Weston's hangar is up there on the left. <laughs> you know, if this beauty was a woman, I'd have to break my 20 and under rule. Man, I'll just stick to driving, all right? <laughs> hey, tell me something. You know how many of these things they made? Uh, shit, like 10? No, not like 10, man. Exactly 10. Oh, wow, man. You one of them type of dudes, huh? Tell you something. How'd you like to drive a car like this one day, man? For real. Like this? Or this. Oh, man, right back at me, homie. Really nice. Hey, you know something? You're not like those uh, snowbird retiree pals of yours. You are sharp, man. Man, I'm just looking for a paycheck for my services. No, no, no don't worry. It'll come. That'll come. But right now, it is life lesson time, pal. You have got to wake up to what's real in this situation, bro. Take me, right? I am opportunity. I'm security. I'm fast cars, blow jobs. I got the world on a plate. Those two clowns, oh man, they are the worst kind of disaster that can ever come down. They are a full core meltdown, and you're just standing there soaking up major radiation. You have got to take stock, man. Make that call before it's too late. Yeah, all right, man. I will. Before it's too late, man. Yeah, yeah. Just take any car and go! What is this? It's a thing. You said you wanted work? This is work. Uh-huh. And who's the guy? You'll see. Yes? Hi. <laughs> oh. Hello. We're looking for Mr. Madrazzo. Patricia, for fuck's sake, just let him in. Right this way, gentlemen. <laughs> Patricia, get us something to drink, would you? Quickly! Good to see you again, Michael. <laughs> Likewise. Uh, this is my friend Trevor. Uh, sit down. Sit, sit, sit. So, what did you tell him about me, about Martin Madrazo? Martin's an old friend of mine, Trevor. The He's... truth. Martin is a terrifying psychopath who tried to kill me. Exactly. Uh, uh, but some people. <laughs> 
They no longer fear me as much as they used to, people who wear clothes to me. Uh, my cousin, uh, you met in Michael. Uh. <laughs> well, apparently, he's thinking about testifying against me. So I have him killed? I'm going to. Uh, by you. Our debt was settled. This is a favor. For a friend. But does friendship mean nothing these days? Ah, uh, hello? What's the deal? This is him. Javier. He's flying off to Liberty City this afternoon. <whistles> and he's taking some files of mine. Innocent files that um, I need back. There's a gun set up in the hills. I have a man watching at the airport. We'll let you know, and when he flies by, shoot him down and get the files back. A man, what's a pay? <laughs> huh? Trevor. Come on. You still want the drink? Not now! Pendeja! Que no ves que estoy hablando con las gentes aquí? All right. You grab a vehicle, something versatile. I'll handle the gun. All right! Hey, let's stay in touch on the headsets. All right, I see the van with the gun in it. You nearby? Not far out. Shoot the plane down, and I'll be ready. T, if you could see this gun, it might convince you Martin Madrazo ain't someone to be messing with. The fancier the gun, the bigger the pussy who owns it. Now take down the jet. Take another shot. Bird strike. Plane's coming down. You on it? Seriously, 
Really, bro, coming all the way out here. We gotta get paid. Just do it. Madrezzo and explain the human cost of this errand. Oh, take it easy, man. Listen to me. We'll talk about that later. I want you to just drop off the files. I gotta get rid of this rifle, then we'll talk. Change of plans. You don't need to come to the ranch. Meet me at Stoner Cement Works, a little up Sonora Road from there. What are you doing, Trevor? Nothing you wouldn't do. Trevor! Trevor! Ah. I wouldn't do. Somehow I don't believe that. happened why do you have his car Man, that piece of turd huh no wonder people are stabbing him in the back what happened cheap bastard you know i really don't know why you mess around with people like that mike i mean really i Trevor! don't answer fucking question i asked for a fair day's pay after a fair day's work and he kind of got a little angry so i admit i kind of got a little angry did you kill him what kind of fucking animal do you take me for? No, I didn't kill him. Oh, fuck. But I did kidnap his wife. Oh, no. Oh, shit. What the fuck did you do? Oh, oh I just told you what I just did. Now, oh, shit. Uh, unfortunately, I think that we're gonna have to lay low for a little while while, you know, we discuss things with Martin. Oh, you think? Why don't you hop in the back? All right, now, Patricia, she already called shotgun. <laughs> now, I know a nice oh, little shit. place we can hang out, you know? It's a, a very relaxing little spot. A little getaway, if you will. A cabin in the woods. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. 